okay we are good to go so we we have understood uh, the lambda expression what is lambda expression and in our uh, previous sessions we have also understood functional interfaces right so any interfaces with a single abstract method is called as functional interface and we have seen a few examples of functional interfaces and also uh, we have also understood how to uh, use lambda expressions with respect to collections collection framework right so today it is very very important topic you will understand about the default and static method in interface what is it default and the static methods so there is a lot of difference of using interfaces in java 7 in java 8 so let us talk about java 1.7 version so the java 1.7 version the behavior of the interface is different and uh, the and with the java 1.8 the behavior of the interface has been changed right so when you want to define an interface in java 1.7 okay in java 1.7 if you are defining an interface okay so you are allowed to uh, define like you can use uh, the variables variables are by default public static final any variable you can define but uh, they, they must have to be what public static and final right these keywords are very important even if you mention it or if you don't mention it if you are defining any variable in an interface okay you are defining any variable they are they are by default uh, you know they are public static and final right so along with the variables you are also allowed to define i mean you can define any number of variables and you can also define methods but the methods are always what abstract methods so if you are defining any methods they are they are like public abstract void m1 what is an abstract method any method with, without a body or any method without a implementation is called as what abstract method right so you can define uh, the variables in any numbers no restrictions any numbers right and also you can define abstract methods in any numbers any numbers right so the uh, restriction is concrete methods are not allowed what is not allowed concrete methods are not allowed concrete methods are not allowed. so again what is a concrete method any method with a, with this with, uh, which has its own implementation or any method with a body is called as what concrete method let me repeat this again till java 1.7 you are allowed to like you know uh, define uh, you are allowed to declare variables are also allowed, allowed to declare any number of abstract method but there is a restriction for the concrete method you are never allowed to define any concrete method they are they are not allowed so if i want to talk about the concrete method this is the concrete method public void the third one any method with a body so the moment you define a body the moment you define open parenthesis and the closed parenthesis then you are defining a body and any method with a body and the implementation is never allowed in the interface till one java 1.7 so this is this is not allowed in an interface till java 1.7 okay. but java 1.6 1 point is as uh, some flexibility they have given you some flexibility they are uh, you know uh, they are allowing you to add the concrete method also okay that concrete method is called as what the default method so the definition is very simple the concrete method the concrete methods that are allowed in that are allowed in allowed inside interface is called as default methods, default method okay. it is a method that Access default keyword. Default is not an access modifier, it's a keyword. Okay. 
So by default, it is it is available to the implementation process. So very simple. Till Java 1.7, you know these things already, right? Till Java 1.7, these are the things allowed. Like only the uh, variables and only the abstract method. So this is never allowed in Java 1.7. You cannot add the you cannot add the concrete methods. But from Java 1.8, if you have any concrete method, you can add that. Right? For example, same example interface. Okay, you can have any number of uh, variables. You can have any number of abstract method. Along with that, you can also define a method called concrete method. So this is completely allowed in Java 1.8. But you need to make sure that you are using a keyword keyword called default keyword. So this is mandatory. So you are using you want to use what keyword? Default keyword. Default keyword. So this is completely acceptable in Java 8. So concrete methods are completely acceptable. These are called as what the default methods. What is its purpose and what is its usage and how uh, it is going to be used in implementation classes that is allowed. The difference I am talking about. In Java 7, the, uh, default methods are not allowed. I mean, no concrete methods are allowed. From Java 1.8 version, default methods are allowed. So any method with the implementation is called as what? Default methods. So along with this default method, you can also include any number of uh, variables number of variables and you can also include any number of abstract methods any number of abstract methods okay. and also this default method not, not one default method you can include any number of default methods any number of default methods right so we will understand this in the programmatic way let us let me design a small program it's very uh, let me remove this so i want to take an interface test interface the name of the interface is test Right? and I want to take a method default method def default uh, uh, and uh, the current type is void the name of the method is m1 system dot out dot print ln okay this is default okay even though you specify the access modifier or if you don't specify the access modifier it is always what public in nature if you specify or if you don't specify it is always public in nature okay now we have a we have an interface with a default method so when i say default methods remember one thing use the default keyword and give the implementation that's it use the de default keyword and you what you do the you give the implementation right so the driver class and the test and the test interface are completely independent in nature now i want to um, give a contract okay so how i can give a contract just implement the driver class with the test interface so implements test okay now driver class is implementing the test interface it means as soon as it is implementing the test interface the behavior okay this behavior can be inherited by the driver class also right because what uh, what are the things that we have here you have an interface and you have a class right you are uh, implementing you are using the implements keyword right so this is a driver class right and this is what this is the interface test okay this is an interface this is the class so you are using implements keyword right so implements keywords means all the properties and all the behaviors can be inherited to the child i mean inherited to the class because it is implementing right so if you have uh, like any behavior any properties and any behaviors all these properties and behaviors can be inherited by this child class 
Yes or no? This properties behaviors can be because this is child and this is the parent interface. So they come, they come, uh, they come to this by default. So they have rights to access to those properties and access to those behaviors, isn't it? They have rights. So in the interface, how many how many uh, behaviors are there? We have only one behavior which is called the default method. So this is the behavior that we have. Right. Even though if you uh, know if you like this behavior, you like this behavior, you can use that directly. How we can use that driver? Create an object for the implementation class driver obj equal to new driver. Right. I can directly use what you know obj dot m1. I use obj.mm1 directly I can execute this so what is actually happening because because of this code what is actually happening behind the scenes let's understand that quickly understand that okay, this is a small piece of code and uh, the execution always starts from the main method we know that already so object creation is happening OB, driver obj equal to new new driver so because of the new keyword an object will be created and this object will be referred to as what obj and this object is going to store the all the instance variables but there are no instance variables instance variables there so this object is going to be empty for now the object is going to be empty now what you are doing by using obj you are calling the method m1 okay now the m1 the control will try to search for the m1 method the control will try to search for, search for the m1 method in the current class in the driver class so your driver class is the current class it will just check it will keep checking for the m1 method in the current class the m1 method is not available in the current class so it will use the implements keyword it will think okay driver is not uh, not only the driver driver as a parent which is test right and the control will jump to the test class i mean test interface and it will search for the m1 method okay it has found the m1 method and it will execute this instruction which is this one okay, this will be executed and this this will be displayed in the console this is default method right for example if you don't like this implementation if you want to give uh, any other implementation you can override you can also override this default method how is that actually possible right if you like this implementation you can use this if you don't like this implementation you can just overwrite this override means copy the same method paste it in the driver class right and remove the default keyword that's it overriding is successful while overriding you will not use the default keyword you will remove the default keyword because default keyword is only specific to the interface the moment you override this okay remove the default keywords and keep everything as it is this is called as what overriding right and you can give your own implementation what this is my implementation okay because of this piece of code because of this piece of code if you run this code okay, now you will get what this is my implementation why you are getting this is my implementation very simple isn't it same thing will happen here okay always the execution starts from the main method so object is getting created for the driver class so object is created and uh, the name of this uh, object as is what obj right and uh, on, you are calling the method called m1 method right so first it will check for the m1 method in the current class so this is the current class the control will try to check for the m1 method because you are calling m1 method right m1 method will be in the current class so it has already identified the m1 method in the current class so this method this implementation will be executed that's it okay. because of the overriding you are overriding in such a way that uh, you know if this is going to skip the implementation of the parent class it is going to execute the implementation of the child class I mean, skip the implementation of the parent interface and it will going to execute the implementation so that's why the output is what this is my implementation if you see right so we are, we are not uh, uh, you know understanding something that is uh, very complicated it is very simple from java 1.8 
this concept is allowed that's it from java 1.8 right and we will understand second part default methods with respect to multiple editors so we know what is multiple inheritance so now we, this is going to be little tricky please stay focused here okay so i have two multiple inheritance are not allowed for the classes you know that right multiple inheritance are not allowed for the classes because of the ambiguity so let me take i have an interface here interface uh, uh, a okay inside this interface i want to take a default method default void m1 right and uh, system dot out dot println this is left method sorry this is a interface Okay, I want to take another interface here, the same interface. Okay, this time the name of the interface is what they want instead of A, I want to take it as B interface. So I have two interfaces with me. I am designing two interfaces. One is interface A and second one is interface B. Right? And if you observe one thing, that the name of the methods are same in both interfaces. Okay, the name of the method is M1 here, here the name of the method is also M1 here. I want to take a class. So what I want to do, I want to take a class. The name of the class is for test class. This test class wants to implement both interfaces. This test class wants to implement interface A, comma interface B. That is allowed for the interface. You can implement any number of interfaces, no problem. But for the classes, it is not possible. The multiple inheritance is possible for the inner, I mean interfaces, not for the classes. We know these things already. And as soon as you do this, as soon as you do this, and if you, uh, you know, if you take the, uh, right, as soon as you do this, and if you start uh, executing this, okay, let me execute this, you will get an error. Compiler will not be satisfied. Right? Compiler will not be satisfied. So you are doing what? Uh, this is your class, and these are the interfaces. Okay, and this is interface uh, A, and this is interface. This is interface B. Okay, focus here. And this is the test class. This is what? Test class. So this test class is ideally implementing the two interfaces. A interface and the B interface. A test class is implementing A interface and the B interface. So all the properties of A interface will come to the test class and all the properties of B interface will come to the test, test class. Yes or no? The moment you do this, you will get an error because this is one of the behavior, all the properties and behavior. This is one of the behavior. Okay, I want to add uh, one more semi or column to complete this uh, interface. Okay. Okay. This behavior will come to uh, the test class and this is also the same behavior, it will come to this test class. Which behavior it will accept? The question is which behavior it will accept because both the behaviors are of what same type. The, the uh, method prototype, the method signatures are same. You see the return type is also white and the, the name of the method is M1. The return type is also white, the name of the method is M1. Right, method signatures and uh, prototype is also same. Both are coming to the same uh, class. So there will be an ambiguity here. How this ambiguity can be resolved? Okay, this is an example. I want to change this to this example. Okay, the name of the interface is what? First interface is interface here, and the second interface is interface B. E. And I am taking the same methods in both interfaces. The default void m1 okay the implementation is system.out.println 
uh, AI interface I'm saying. Okay, and I want to copy the same method. I want to put it here. So default method M1. So P interface I'm saying. Right. So the moment you implement A comma P, the moment you implement both the interfaces A comma P. Okay, this is breaking here. This is giving you an error. See if I run, if I just execute this. You are getting what main method not found and please define a main method. Okay, let me define the main method. Okay, still if I run this code, you are already getting the compile time error. Okay, an un unresolved compilation problem. Unresolved compilation problem. Okay, it says this driver class is implementing both two interfaces A and P. Two interfaces as the same method name same method prototype same method signature okay what does it mean if you are if you are like you know if you are extending if you are uh, if your class is implementing to two interfaces okay and if two interfaces as the same default method same default method so it is mandatory it is it is compulsory for you to give the for you to override this method but what, what do i mean just overwrite those methods and give your own implementation. Okay. This is not the perfect overriding. Okay, when you are overriding, you should remove the default keyword and you should use the public access modifier. Okay, even though if you keep public or if you don't keep public, by default they are public. Okay, now the question arises for you. So you are doing something here. Okay, so this is uh, this is the uh, question uh, you know triggering situation. Okay, so you are do, you are placing this uh, this instructions here. Okay, you are overriding. Now overriding has been successful. You have just overridden, right? Overridden. And if you call M1 method, this M1 method will be executed. If you call M1 method, this M1 method will be executed. Okay, so it is mandatory. Let me repeat it for you. It is mandatory to override the abstract method if your class is implementing two interfaces. If your class is implementing two interfaces which has the same method prototypes, it is mandatory for you to override. First, first thing, first thing is it is mandatory for you to override. Let me write this here. Please be informed that it is mandatory for you to overwrite the methods that are in the two parent interfaces two parent interfaces first point Okay, the second point is focus here, focus here. Okay, now if I run this code, if, let me create an object for the driver, driver obj equal to new driver. Okay, if I give obj dot uh, m1, right, the control will directly jump, the control will check for the m1 method in the current class. Current class there is an already an M1 method, so this M1 method will be executed. Own implementation. But I want to execute, I want to execute because we have two parent interface. So my requirement is I do not want to execute uh, uh, the implementation that I am placing here. I want to execute the default method of interface here. So in the interface here, there is a default method. I want to transfer the control to here. Right? See what is happening behind the scenes, guys. Very simple. I copy this and I paste this code in the main screen. Okay, what is actually happening behind the scenes? So this is our piece of code. So let me maximize this. Okay, this is how the code looks like. So what is ideally happening? So object creation is happening, right? Object creation is happening. So let me create an object, right? And this is going to be referred to as what? OBJ. OBJ and there are no instance variables, so the object is going to be empty. 
Okay, on top of that reference, you are calling M1 method. First importance is the control will check is there any M1 method in the current class. What is the current class? Driver is a current class, right? This is the current class. It will try to check is there any method in the M1 method in the current class. Yes, there is an M1 method in the current class. So this instruction will be executed on implementation, right? But I want to kick this control. I want to kick this control. I do not want to, uh, you know, I, I want to execute the M1 method. M1 method in the interface. We, if you see. There are three M1 methods. So this is one of the M1 method, right? And another M1 method is here, and another M1 method is here. Okay. My requirement is I want to kick this control. I want to kick this control to execute this M1 method. Okay. How, how can I do that? How can I do that? I can do that, but I cannot directly transfer this control here. It is because it is mandatory for me to override the M1 method. Right from this M1 method, from the, from the body of the M1 method, I need to place a code so that the control will jump to this uh, main thread will understand and the control will directly jump to the M1 method of interface here. Or else, I want to write a piece of code inside the body of the M1 method, in this method, so that the control will jump to the M1 method of interface. How oh, I can do that? You need to follow this rule. The rule is right. You want to just kick the control, okay? You want to kick the control to this M1 method, okay? I need to use a keyword called, you know, okay? so which interface is holding the M1 method? So, which M1 method you want to execute? You want to execute this M1 method. This M1 method is part of which interface? Part of A interface, right? Use the interface name or use the super keyword. Call the M1 method. So this statement will ensure that the M1 method, the M1 method of interface A will be executed. If you run this code, you get that. But what is happening? What is happening actually? So you are using the M1 method of class. So inside the body of the M1 method of class driver the body of the m1 method of class driver driver okay you are just removing what you are just removing uh okay. this so inside this you are placing an instruction that instruction is going to do what it will uh, kick the control to the first it will kick the control to the which interface a interface okay. and you are using the super keyword super keyword is referring to the uh, the parent interface and inside that you are trying to execute the m1 method right the control will directly jump to where because of this instruction the control will directly come to the jump to the a interface and uh, this m1 method will be executed okay now i want to my requirement is i want to execute not not this one i want to execute this uh, this m1 method m1 method of interface b so what is the solution for that okay instead of a just put b the control will jump to the B interface and this M1 method will be executed. So, this is how the ambiguity problem will be resolved. In the interview, they will ask you that will be an ambiguity if uh, because of the default method. Okay, ambiguity amb ambiguity has created in Java 8 interface. Still, Java 7 interface, there is no ambiguity. But from Java 8 interface, ambiguity has been generated and this ambiguity can be resolved in this way. Right, you use super you use interface name, you use super keyword, and ideally you can use the respective method name to resolve the ambiguity method. To resolve the ambiguity. Now the control knows which uh, method needs to be called because there are two methods of the same name. Okay, if you are calling M1 method, the control will get confusion which M1 method needs to be called so that there is an I mean because of the ambiguity. How you are resolving this ambiguity by using this keyword? You are using the interface name using the super keyword and you are using the respective method name okay now control knows okay i need to call the m1 method that is inside the interface b so control will directly jump to the interface b and it will call the m1 method right and also i have also i i can also do one more advantage is i can also call okay both the methods at the same time i have i have that all that i have that option also and i can also do this any number of times I have that flexibility. 
okay apart from doing this in the current in the you know in the current class uh, this is the current class mn method i can also provide my own implementation my own logic that is also possible so this is this is the uh, you know some of the big, one of the biggest advantages of java 8 of the default methods okay one method from the one method you are able to call the parent methods of the same prototype any number of times at the same time you are also allowed to use the logic inside the method right so this is the importance of the default methods with respect to what with respect to interfaces right very simple isn't it are you getting this everyone default methods yes no okay very simple default method is uh, so if you remember this thing is very simple. the concrete method that are allowed inside the interface is called as default method until java 1.7 no concrete method is allowed from java 1.8 concrete methods are allowed so they are called as what default method okay and uh, if you want to define default method use the default keyword right it says default uh, it is available to the implementation classes right we will understand two cases now uh, the case one case one if you have an interface interface a so this interface has a default method default void m1 system dot out dot print and statement so this a okay so this interface has only one default method and you are using a class class test I mean implements implements it so this class test is implementing to only one interface only one interface right so it is not mandatory to override this default method if you want you can override if not okay, you can just leave it like that it is not at all mandatory to override this method because there is no ambiguity if you are overriding this, you can give the own implementation. If not, you can use this. But it is not at all mandatory in the case one. But in the case two, okay, if you have two interfaces, like this, if you have interface A and if you have interface B, okay, let me change this to what? Let me change this to interface B. Okay, B and B. If you have two interfaces and if you have a class that is implementing both the interfaces, I mean that is implementing interface A as well as as well as what interface B. Interface A, comma B. Okay, now you see, guys, this class, okay, test class is implementing two interfaces, right? So these two interfaces as the same default method, same method. This is one default method and this is a this is one default method okay if you find similar methods in the two interfaces if there is similar method in the two interfaces it is mandatory for you to override that similar method very very important it's mandatory or else the system will break first you override it first you resolve the ambiguity so by this way you are resolving the ambiguity so the moment you are overriding this you will do what you will remove the default keyword Instead of default keyword, you, you will place what public accessory public access modifier. So this overriding is mandatory. Why this is mandatory? Because to resolve the ambiguity, right? You are implementing two interfaces A and B. Okay, this A and B as the same same method name. I mean same method prototype, same method signature. If you encounter this kind of situation, it is mandatory for you to override that method first. Overriding is mandatory to resolve the ambiguity. Then the logic can be defined by you accordingly okay you can define your own implementation or from here you can call if you want to call the uh, method m1 method which is in a interface you can call that by using the interface name followed by the super keyword followed by the method name or else if you like to call the method of m1 you need to uh, use the interface name followed by the super keyword followed by the method m1 
Right? This is how you resolve the ambiguity. First, overriding is mandatory. Then you will use what? You will use these things. Okay. That's, that is what I have written here. Please inform that it is necessary to, uh, it is mandatory for you to override the methods that are in the two parent two parent interfaces. Okay, how do you do the override? What is the syntax to override? Syntax to override. What is the syntax? Okay, interface name dot super keyword dot default method. Right. So this is all about the default methods. Now we will understand about the static methods in Java. This is very very simple. Static methods. In Java 8. So, like default method, Java 8 people has also introduced a concept called the static method. Static methods comes along with the static keyword. Right? So, the reason behind the static method is so to define the general utility logic. Let's see, see the uh, benefits of static method. They are used to define the general utility logic there is to define what there is to define the general utility or I mean, utility methods right so how we can define the static method how can we define the static method for example okay, i have an interface here interface here so inside this interface let me take the black color interface a so we have understood what is default method now we will understand how to define the static method so to define the static method just use public static void m1 just use the static keyword right and give your own implementation system dot out dot print again sop right and uh, this is static method right and close the implement uh, interface and let take the class test the class right and you can use what you can use public static void main void main right and you can call the static method okay. so implements implements okay. okay let me let us understand this uh, uh, you know functionality of the static method so any method with the static keyword previously you have used default so it has become default method now we are using static when you use static the moment you start use static this method becomes what method this method becomes what static methods right so how, how we can uh, ensure that uh, the usage of static method is up to the mark okay so you have the class driver let me remove this okay let me remove it uh, instead of default i am setting it to static okay in the interface i have i have only one method which is what which is a static method okay so i am giving my own logic as what static Okay, now is there any contract between interface A and driver class? And see, I am making the contract implements implements A. Okay, now driver class is implementing A interface. A interface has a method called a static method. I want to call the static method. How I can call the static method? So if I create an object driver obj equal to new driver. If I create an object like this by using the object reference variable if i call the static method okay, this compiler is giving me an error okay i cannot call the static method by creating the ob object reference variable this is the one point that we want to we want to observe you can't call a static method inside an interface
by creating the object reference variable of implementation class first point okay so this is not possible so let me comment this this is not possible then now we can call this uh, static method okay, to the syntax to call the static method is use the interface name directly or use the method name. that's it use the interface name and use the method name so this is how you can call the static method one more advantage of the static method is it is really not required to implement this interface because they are used for general utility purpose if you remove this also okay, you can call this a.m no issues only static method only for the static methods you can do if you find any static methods inside an interface right and uh, if you have any other class if you want to call that static method from a different class right just use the interface name and call the method name of the method you do not want to implement right when you will implement if you have any other default method here and if you want to use the default method here for example if you have another default method default uh, public default void m2 if you have another default method here right let us say that your class is uh, not okay with the default method but you, your class wants to use this uh, logic if your class wants to use the logic of the static method then you do not want to implement okay but if your class wants to use the logic of the default method also then you will have to implement because the functionality of the default method is not available directly you need to uh, utilize it by using the extends keyword Okay, now this default method is available to you for default method you will have to create an object by using the object reference you will execute the jump to method right so the object creation is necessary for the default method and you will call that method by using the object reference variable m right so the here default method is called here static method is called but please remember to call the static methods in uh, the interfaces object creation is not mandatory directly use the why it is printing static method default method okay. directly you can use the interface name and you can call that method right the question could be okay the follow up question could be okay let me copy this code okay. please be Form method the static methods can be called directly by using the interface name and the method name without having the interface implemented okay syntax to call syntax to call stat statics method syntax to call static method so what is the syntax uh, interface name dot method static method name Okay. is it really necessary to implement the interface it is not necessary if you want to deal only with the static method right and this is the example program right our second question is can we, in the interview they will ask you can we override static methods in the interface the answer is no we cannot override static methods in the interfaces the okay, answer is directly no let us see is it possible or no okay let me remove this okay i am trying to override this 
I'm trying to override this in the implementation classes. Okay. So ideally it is not giving me any error. Static method of driver class. Okay, but actually the overriding is not at all happening. Actually, the overriding is not at all happening. Okay, if uh, what is the assumption and how can I conclude that the overriding itself is not at all happening here? Okay, if I keep this method as non-static method, if the if the overriding is actually happening, this has to give me an error because you cannot override the non-static to the static. Or else, if I increase the uh, access modifier, let us let it be the static. If I decrease the uh, scope of the access model, but instead of public, if I reduce it to default, if I am not keeping anything, it is default. I am reducing the access modifier level. If it is actually overriding, it should give me an error, but it is not giving giving me any error. So these are the overriding concepts, guys, inheritance concepts which you have already discussed. Right? I am talking about the nature of the overriding. Right? The first point is if you if it is really overriding. This has to give me an error because ideally it is not possible. You cannot de decrease the scope of the access modifier firstly, right? And if I am keeping this method as non static, if it is actually overriding, it has to give me an error. It is not giving me an error. So it means what? It is really not overriding, right? For example, instead of interface, if I take a class, class A, understand the overriding concept. driver implements here. so this is static method okay static method okay this now this uh, this m1 method is overriding this m1 method in uh, inheritance we call it as what overriding over hiding we call it as okay if you remove the static keyword right it is, it is giving me an error between classes i am talking about the classes to understand the to understand whether it is overriding or not it is giving me it says static keyword is missing we cannot override the non static method from the static method right so let me keep static if i remove the access modifier by the by you know it is it is going to consider this as a default keyword default access modifier because uh, we are reducing the scope from public to default we are reducing so it is giving me an error so this is how we can understand whether it is overriding or not. For the complete overriding, the access modifier has to be same. Okay, the static keyword must be same and the return type must be same and the method name must be same. Now this is not giving me an error because now it is overriding completely. Okay, if you want to imagine the same thing with interfaces, even though if you do this, even though if you write the same method name here, right? This is not a concept of overriding. This has nothing to do with this. This is different method. This is different method. Even though the return type is same, even though the method is name is same, even though the keyword is same, both are completely different. There is no concept of overriding here. But it looks like it is overriding. No, it is not overriding. Because independently you can call this method. Independently you can call this method. How you can call this method? A dot M1. So both are independent, right? Independently, you can call this method. How you can call this method independently? Create an object for the driver class. Okay, obj dot m1. Independently, you can call this static method of driver class. That's why the that's why the answer is direct answer is if you get a question like this in the interview room. We cannot override the static methods in the interface because you can call that you can call the static methods open interface independently just by using the interface name as follows. Right? Interface name dot method right so these are the interview questions that you can come across i know 
we understood what is a default method and what is the a static method is there any ambiguity problem that the static method is going to create so there is, there is no such concept of ambiguity why there is no such concept of ambiguity for example if i have two interfaces interface a if i have another interface like interface b okay these two interfaces has the same methods right not default now we are talking about the static method these two interfaces have the same static method right but now in this case for me it is really not necessary to override this because there is no ambiguity because you don't actually call this method by creating an object you have an option to directly call this method okay how i can call if i want to call this method this is a static method to call a static method in an interface i can use the interface name followed by the method name of the method name inside the particular interface so b dot m1 i can call okay, there is no ambiguity here so b static method i am getting Right. If you want to call uh, uh, this M1 method, this M1 method, this M1 method is of static type inside the interface. Eh? So directly I can call it by using what a dot M1. There is no problem of ambiguity because you are not allowed to create. You are not allowed to call this respective methods by creating an object. Object creation is not allowed. Only one way to call is use the interface name and we use the method followed by the method. This is how we can call. The static methods and can we override the static methods you cannot over the override the static methods so even though if you implement a comma b even if it is missing also no problem okay. even though if it is missing also no problem if you keep this also no problem if you remove one thing or if you keep remove both the things also no problem right so without having any contract between the class and interface the static methods can be called directly by using the interface names are you getting this what if i have a static method and what if i have a default method default void m2 okay. default default a. what if i have a static method and what if a default method i want to call the default method directly can i call the default method directly Now you cannot call the default method directly because for all the default methods firstly you need to build the contract by using implements keyword implements a right because default method is there in interface a then you need to do what then you need to create an object for the driver class driver obj equal to new driver at last you need to do what by using this reference variable you can call the default methods which is what m2 right default so for calling a static method no object creation is required directly you can call but for calling a default method object creation is mandatory and with the reference variable you will call okay and also if you don't like this implementation you can override the default method but you cannot override the static methods so they are utility methods Okay, so that's all for the day guys so we have completed the what is static method what is default method what is functional interface and what is lambda expressions everything is completed